Gene splicing by overlap extension. Part 2. PCR and transformation of the PCR construct. This short video explains what happened following the primer designs in Part 1. The outcomes of the PCR and transformations are detailed. Here are the expected PCR product sizes. Homology ARM 1. Homology ARM 2. Ken. Homology ARM 1 with Ken. And, the final construct consisting of Ken and homology ARMs 1 and 2. If the PCR products are run on an agarose gel, along with a 100 base pair ladder, specific base pair sizes are highlighted in blue. The PCR product for homology ARM 1 are of the expected size. The same can be said for homology ARM 2. The Ken PCR product, as well as homology ARM 1 with Ken, and the final construct consisting of homology ARM 1 and 2 with Ken, are also the correct size. As shown, the final product is just under 1200 base pairs in size. Transformations The PCR construct was designed with a DNA uptake sequence, this was within homology ARM2. DNA uptake sequences are needed for efficient transformation in Neisseria species. The next step involved transforming the PCR construct into the species under investigation. The following is an outline of the method used for the transformations. First, cells are suspended in a broth. A portion of the cells are then spotted onto solid media. PCR product consisting of the final construct is added to the dried spot. It is important to prepare a control spot, the control spot has no PCR product added to it. Allow the cells to grow, and, after a period of time, Harvest the cells from the spots. Next, pass these cells to selective media. On this example canamycin was used. Selective media. The cells from the control and transformation spots were passed onto media containing canamycin. The control should not have canamycin resistance, resulting in no, or limited growth. If the canamycin containing PCR construct has been transformed, cells containing this will grow on canamycin plates. The next step is to pick the resistant colony, this is then grown on fresh canamycin plates. From the resistant colonies, extract the genomic DNA. There are many kits available that make this part easy to carry out. Using the genomic DNA from the canamycin resistant growth, carry out PCR. Use the homology ARM1 forward and the homology ARM2 reverse primers for this. Run the PCR products on a 2% agarose gel. The key 100 base pair marker sizes are highlighted in blue. Here the PCR construct is shown. This is of the expected size. Here is the PCR product amplified from genomic DNA of cells that have not undergone transformation. Here is the PCR product from the genomic DNA of cells that have undergone transformation. The PCR product is the same size as the construct. This indicates the construct has been transformed into the genome of the species being investigated. The next step will involve sequencing the genome of the transformant to confirm the construct is present. Sequencing will also confirm the insert has integrated into the genome in the correct place and orientation. Thank you for listening.